We're back to the Neil Haley Show and also the Media Giant Effect. I'm excited to welcome program first celebrity, Dr. Dr. Ted Grellner. Dr. Ted, how are you? And this is just really an interesting situation with my guest because of Pittsburgh. Hey, you know, I've had these conversations. I end up having someone on that was talking about the WWE and different wrestlers and stuff today. It's been like a Pittsburgh day. He was a CEO of a healthcare, I mean, of a hospital that was from Pittsburgh in the Bell Vernon region. Now we're going Fox Chapel, man. I'm, you know, I'm in Dallas, Texas now, Ted, what's going on? It's Pittsburgh day. You, you seem to attract the Pittsburghians. Oh yeah. And, well, uh, <laughs> and, and it's such a cold part of the, of the country too. I've, I've been there and uh, it's beautiful in the summer, but the winter, oh, I don't know how you I deal. With the I've been loving else. these Texas Januarys. That's for sure. Oh my gosh. But not to a Florida January where you're in Florida, Ted, but my yeah. guest today is TikTok sports guy podcaster frank smith frank thanks for stopping by we will um appreciate it man and it's great to talk to somebody from pittsburgh again that made it and you did it your own way frank and that's a great thing right no oh, yeah it's something i'm i'm proud of every single day and hey i'm happy to continue pittsburgh day here did you mention wwe did i hear I'm, a that former, I'm a former professional wrestler i wrestled uh in wwe once but i'm connected to the rock wore my knee pads back in 1995 so i was part of the attitude era when i was working down south beat jerry the king lawler connected all those guys so retired became a teacher from teaching went in back into the entertainment field and have grown my radio show podcast and television to this level we're definitely going to put this on uh, BPTV Channel 7 in Pittsburgh as well in Bethel Park because you are a Pittsburgh guy and we love talking to Pittsburgh guys that are successful. We're talking about, you know, running into somebody. I ran into Mark Cuban a couple months ago to the movies in Dallas. So go figure. You never know who you're going to run into. But let's jump right into it, Frank. How did this kind of start? How did you get, was it TikTok famous first, gaining your TikTok that built everything first? What would you say was first? It was TikTok, and I want to I want to go full full circle here for a second because you mentioned WWE. I did a video recently on Roman Masick, one of the WWE's newest signees, Pittsburgh oh. guy. Well, you know, played on the Duquesne football team, so we got all the dots circled here today. But oh. yes, I did start on TikTok uh, right around the time COVID hit. I was posting original short stories about the origin stories of my favorite athletes, and it took off almost immediately. Like I've, I've tried a lot of different things in my life. Nothing has worked as quickly as this. So I just started doing it every day. Hmm. Well, I was looking at your ridiculous rap uh, program on Snapchat and you do a lot of editing on your videos. So I assume that's you, you learn that from uh, cutting your teeth on TikTok. So I actually learned the editing skills way back in my childhood. Uh, I think I was like 13 years old. I got a computer a desktop computer in my room that had Windows Movie Maker. And it was around the same time YouTube had just come out, like probably 07, 08. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to learn how to get videos onto YouTube. I was curious. And I, I built those skills up. Then I used Final Cut Pro. And then I used, I, I, I did some iMovie. Eventually got my way to Adobe Premiere. Um, and my first 150 probably TikTok videos, roughly 150 TikTok videos, I edited those myself. But there's no way I could keep that up and, and grow the way we've grown. We have an amazing in-house video editing team now. I don't do it anymore. Wow. That's a, so that you, you build it to that level. What do you think that when you jumped in TikTok, what made it? Is it your neat, how you were really trying to be niche and different? What did you say that made, when, when did you start on TikTok too? Yeah, TikTok was like April of 2020. And that was, I mean, the goal with any of this stuff on social media is, find a way to be different find a way to be unique you have to stand out in some way or who's going to care um my way was i love some of these videos that are on youtube they're about you know eight to 12 minutes long but there's fat layered all over them there's a i i watched these videos and i was like wow i could probably tell the story in one minute what would that look like how could i write that script how could i edit it to make the story so fast paced because that's what tiktok is it's, you know, short attention span, fast paced, stimulating. Um, so I just gave it my best shot. And I was like, wow, a lot of these stories, they can be told in one minute and people appreciate that. Your speaking skills are, are amazing. You do, you're very relaxed and, and you're, uh, you're focused on the camera. It's like, you know, like right on, right target on. What, 
what gave you those skills to speak so well or did it just come with the territory once you got started things just kept rolling well, it just came a practice. I wasn't always that good. If you go back to my first videos, I was, it's different. You can see I've, I've kind of found my voice here, but it's just practice like anything else. I've done like over 800 of these. So oh, wow. at some point you get better. Photographing right. memory? No, no, yeah. definitely not. <laughs> so, so basically choosing TikTok, do you think still TikTok is a place where people organically can grow quickly in your opinion? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I actually just got off a phone call today. We were talking about uh, with a different creator. We were talking about growing on Facebook or even Instagram for that matter. At least Instagram's introduced reels now where you can hit the ground running a little right. bit. There's some discovery there. You have places like Facebook still where there seems like there's none. You know, you're going to be shown to at least some people if you start a cold TikTok today. You'll get 50 views, you might get 100 views. You know, you might only get 15, but that's better than zero. You know, they're going to show you there is a discovery place. That's the For You page. Um, it's the best way to, to organically grow. YouTube Shorts is probably a close second. Hmm. So is the opportunity then with Instagram and Facebook or still TikTok? So we do everything. We do YouTube Shorts. We have, um, there's my plaque right there. You can actually see it. I have the, the silver and the gold. The gold's for a million. So we've done really well on YouTube. Um, TikTok over a million as well. Snapchat, we have several channels, but we, you know, we repurpose all this content and post it everywhere, except mm -hmm. Facebook, really. We just, that's the only one we really don't do. Well, you <laughs> now need to jump on Facebook, especially now the, the reels are really blowing up on the pages. Uh, reels. I, we have done that. We have, we have cross posted the reels, but those yeah. are really for Instagram. Exactly. And see, the thing is that it's interesting the platforms you go to and where the, the like where the views are versus where the money is. LinkedIn, it's crazy how videos aren't growing on LinkedIn where it was for a little bit and they stopped. LinkedIn's a really, really strange place. And then you think about it, Facebook. And do you think that people overdoing videos? This is a good question. Compare it depends on the platform. We know Instagram videos. We know TikTok, even though TikTok's starting to get away from videos at times. It's got to be for somebody who's a business or a creator or, or, or somebody that's not a creator to really feel a headache when it changes so much. That's why I have to study a lot, but I also say, well, what's going to work and not work for my clients as well as like you did. If I had it my way, everything wouldn't feel like TikTok. You know, YouTube's done a great job and I'm really excited for the monetization to kick in there. I like having different platforms feel different. It seems like everything wants to be like TikTok. Um, it's crap. It, no, I think it's the biggest mistake possible. Why? I, I wish Instagram was actually just still photos. It was it was a nice, unique experience. Yeah. Um, you know, LinkedIn. It, it's not for videos. I, I go on there. It's for, you know, maybe articles. researching, maybe In researching article. a meeting, maybe finding an interesting article. Articles, uh, articles do really well that you can get a yeah. really good organic search. You don't even have to put your picture up. You find a really good article. I have a client of mine is getting 50 likes, 70, 80 reactions and no, no pictures, nothing. And it's, I mean, it's, isn't the whole point of LinkedIn that these people are professional, they have their jobs and they're listed there. Now you're asking these people to just do something totally different and post videos. That but seems it's ridiculous. They, and they were allowing it. And then LinkedIn finally said, no, thank goodness. Because why are we? So that's my point. Wait for Twitter. Everyone needs to find out what Elon's going to do. Because I honestly believe at one point, if he gets a brings Vine back and brings other things back, who knows what's going to happen? So this is the problem is that, that again, Frank is always studying. I'm studying it, but it's the time. You have a whole team to do your stuff now. I basically take care of a lot of my client stuff and I try to do my stuff. But ultimately, at the end of the day, what's going to bring results for your business? Would you agree with that if you're talking business? What's going to be the best result? Social media is very important but it's the strategy of what your business is like and what to works, right? Would you agree? Yeah, I would agree. I mean, everyone's audience is different. My audience is not on LinkedIn all the time. So you won't find me posting on LinkedIn very much. Um, I'd, I'd actually like to do better on Twitter. That's a goal of ours. But look, you can't, you, there's, I know no one that out of all these seven platforms we just mentioned that does well on all seven. There's just no. not enough time in one day. You have to pick and choose your battles here. So if you're good at like two or three of them, that's a huge win. That's head with your next question. I, we, I, we went into social media. We kind of went into the laboratory, even though I want to learn more about the other stuff. But go ahead, Ted, with your question. Well, your, your, your sports background with your father's side, 
not only were your relatives involved in sports, they were involved with the height of each of their sports, you know, a world champion, light heavyweight boxer, uh, a, a world series ring holder, uh, an Olympic gold medalist uh, swimmer. So uh, it, it must have been some really interesting family discussions in your house because <laughs> you, you covered it all. Yeah, we love sports. My, I mean, it, I never got to know my great grandfather who won that World Series, but it starts sure. with, with his son, my grandfather, T.F. Smith. Uh, he was a college basketball player too, but that's that's all I knew from when I was a kid. We played sports, talked about sports, um, watched sports. That was it, really. That's that's just what I grew up knowing. Oh, you got the genes. <laughs> Yeah, I wish I was a better athlete. I never was good enough to play in college, but I'm <laughs> I'm not bad. Well, I saw that you play basketball and golf. Now, I don't understand how a basketball player can see the golf ball if they're so tall. <laughs> I'm not that tall. I'm, <laughs> I'm five foot 11. <laughs> <laughs> so it's interesting you talk about the, the, the Pittsburgh roots and what you've built and developed. Uh, was TikTok what kind of kicked you off? What about podcasting? Let's talk a little bit about podcasting after this. But did tick, was TikTok the thing that kicked you off and blew you up? Would you say was it TikTok? Yeah, that was first. Um, and the cool thing about what I was doing on there was this content was evergreen. You know, Kevin Durant's origin story is going to be as relevant as it is, you know, from 2020 to 2030. So this was able to be reposted on YouTube Shorts when they developed their competitor. So I was able to, you know, have this whole backlog of ammo right when that started. And same thing with IG Reels to kind of kickstart me on there. So, yeah, we started on TikTok, but very quickly we expanded to all the other ones. Makes, makes complete sense. So what, do you, what do you see going forward? You know, every creator is really looking forward to the monetization on YouTube. That's going to start February 1st. There's some reports about what the CPMs will look like on there, but hopefully a lot of creators get paid. Um, this year in particular, for, for me and all the people I work with at Juice, uh, we're looking forward to making amazing long-form content. We feel like we've done an, a tremendous job on short-form. We've kind of climbed the mountain there. Um, and now we want to tackle long-form. And part of that is podcasting we talked about. And we really want to build out our community. So tell us about the podcasting. What are you doing in podcasting? It's been mostly Steelers. Uh, podcasting, we haven't taken super seriously. We've dipped our toe in the water. Um, we've seen awesome numbers on some of the clips, not great download numbers, but you know, we're trying some different experiments on there. I did a couple mini pods as we call them the last two days where they're just like five minute segments, like seven minute podcasts, mostly opinionated stuff. Like I think the example I gave was one of the most painful moments is when you show your friend a video and he doesn't laugh. Like that was literally the whole podcast. It was five minutes about that. So we're, we're that. experimenting, we're trying new things here. Um, and hopefully by the end of 2023, we really, uh, we have our lane. Mm -hmm. What do you see as the, the time length that is the most popular? You know, when it, when it comes to doing ads, uh, video ads, they say you can't do anything more than, you know, just a few seconds almost. It's so short. Uh, I guess um, I'm trying to, for, for is where? it varying? For a podcast? Well, in terms of any any media uh, uh, clip, is does it tend to, to shift from time to time as to what people will put up with or what they enjoy, be it 15 seconds or, or a minute, five minutes, or even 30? Uh, yeah, I'd say it depends on your audience and, and what platform you're on. You know, uh, there's a lot of YouTubers that can get away with making 25-minute videos, and they'll mm -hmm. do exceptionally well. Uh, mm -hmm. That's what people are accustomed to on there, and it's learned behavior. Um, you know, TikTok, we're talking about you got to get them through the first five seconds so they're gone. You know, it's totally different. <laughs> oh, God. And I think TikTok is still very organic in certain aspects for people with no followers can get two, 300 views. It's worthwhile getting your stuff up there and seeing what happens. It's, it's all about that. And I think that they see the people who are dominating, like you dominate in certain platforms and think, well, that makes me I'm not better or that. It's, it's really about ultimately what your goals are for your business and what your things you can you compare yourself to the top level, but ultimately understand it takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. Right. Frank, that's the thing. It's, it's a growth process, right? Yeah, absolutely. Some people want to build a business at like the, they use social media as a funnel to their business. Um, their goals are not going to be the same as mine. It's as simple as that. Because your goals is 
to, to, to blow it out of the park and become what you are and what your brand is. So I guess um, social media, what do you think, where do you think things are going? We're going to continue to go to videos. We're going to go short form. We can start seeing more long form. What is up with, you said YouTube create, I thought YouTube always monetized. What's the monetization changing? Is that because Elon's planning? And so YouTube wants, YouTube wants to jump first to it? I, I don't think this had anything to do with Elon. Um, I, believe now- every, I believe everything has to do with Elon. They are all. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they announced this a long time ago. Okay. Um, that it was going to come in 2023. And I think we all thought it was going to come at the top of the year, but they said February 1st. And, and now it's a sure thing. We all had to accept the new terms on YouTube. So the general gist of it is YouTube is going to start feeling even more like TikTok. You know, TikTok, you see a lot of ads. You can skip right past them, but they're there. And that's the bulk of the revenue TikTok generates is through those ads. YouTube's going to be doing the same thing starting February 1st. And instead, of just keeping all the money for themselves like TikTok does, they're actually going to split 45% of it with creators. Mm. Um, who knows how much money that'll actually net. You know, that's We won't really know the numbers until the first week of February, but it's a, it's a huge monumental moment for any short-form video creator because now you're actually a true partner with the platform. You're not getting a creator fund bonus that you have no idea how those are calculated anyone who's ever received one of those i know that's kind of a niche thing to say but anyone who's ever received one can totally feel my pain there (laughs) so okay so i'm i'm kind of understanding that now and that means thumbnails are going right that's what i've heard is that true thumbnails on on youtube shorts you used to be able to add them um, well, not the shorts. I'm talking just YouTube in general. They're pushing that probably. Oh, all- I'm only talking yeah. shorts. You, okay. you, all the stuff I'm describing for shorts has been available for long form on yeah. YouTube for you know, yeah, know, probably 15 years. So no thumbnails will be there to stay. I, that's not what they're saying. They're saying they're thinking about getting rid of thumbnails. That's why you're seeing the way thumbnails are not becoming uniform anymore because it looks like they're changing. You, because- are you talking about on shorts? No, YouTube meaning no that thumbnails are going to go off of regular video. They're going to be more. Oh, that that's news to me. I've never heard this. Yeah, it was one of the YouTubers, one of the top YouTubers that said this. So I was checking it out. That so, would be an interesting experiment. I mean, that, that's really getting into the point. Well, what's the purpose? They want to get them the first three seconds, even if it's another one. No, I, no, I wasn't talking about shorts. I was talking about thumbnails are going to go. That's, well, when you when you use the mobile app and you're scrolling through your feed, if you stop scrolling for more than like a second. The thumbnail goes away, the video just starts playing. So it is it is kind of trending that way on mobile right now, but you can still see it. Hmm, interesting. Hmm. Any other questions, Steph? Uh, no, I, uh, I I've been fascinated by the stuff that I've seen so far. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's really fun. Impressive stuff. Where can people check you out? Where's the best place, Frank? Just my name. You type in my name to anything, Frank Michael Smith. Uh, the only place it's different is Twitter, Frank Mike Smith. Um, and if you want to listen to the podcast, it's Frank Michael Smith show, Apple, Spotify. And, you know, I, I answer all the DMS. I'm, I'm really about the community. So if you want to get in touch, just shoot me a DM on Instagram. All right. Well, we appreciate it. Thanks again, Frank. Thank you guys. All right. You're listening and watching the Neil Haley show. and We'll be back in just a moment.